Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Resistance A-Wing Fighter from the Force Link 2.0 uh, line. And this is a pretty cool vehicle, but before we take a closer look at it, let's go ahead and take a look at its packaging. Uh, as you can see here, it's, it's pretty standard for what we've seen out of the um, Last Jedi line um, of uh, vehicles. It's got a nice big illustration here on the front. A clear window down here for the figure. And then uh, on the side, picture of the character that the figure is of. And then of course on the back it shows the vehicle again with the figure um, as well as a brief description. If you'd like to read that, of course, you can just pause the video. And sorry for the any noise in the background, that's the dishwasher running. Um, but anyway, um, it is. I will say that it is a Force Link 2.0 thing. I don't care about the Force Link stuff. I don't have the little unit that you need, um, so I just won't be talking about it. It'll basically be like, um, it doesn't do anything. But uh, it does do some lights and sounds, I guess, something. Uh, but anyway, the vehicle itself here is exactly 12 inches long, um, and it is 7 inches wide. And it does come um, with a couple things that it does. First off, it's got an opening canopy which does fit the figure very comfortably. And then over on the side, these missiles do actually fire. Let me do that real quick. It's pretty weak, um, but one thing that I really like is that it basically just looks like the end of the gun whenever it's you know in the launcher, which is pretty nice. Um, and then on the bottom, the last feature is the uh, uh, landing gear. There's just one, and it folds up into the body. Now, unfortunately, Mine is missing this little like jet turbine piece here in the back. I don't know if that's a common problem. Um, it wasn't in the box or anything, so either it didn't get put in to begin with or it fell out at some point during the assembly line. Not a huge deal, um, but it is a little irritating. Um, overall, I really like the way that this vehicle looks. It's pretty solid construction, um, and it looks you know just like it does in the movie. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with it overall. As far as the figure goes, let's take a closer look at it. Um, it is one of the five POA uh, figures. It stands at three and three quarter inches tall, so it's right in scale with all of your other um, figures, and it does come with one accessory, and that is this blaster pistol. No paintwork or anything, um, but it does look nice, um, and it does fit in her hands as well. And then, like I said, uh, as far as articulation goes, on this figure, it's 5 POA. Uh, swivel at the head, swivel, or I think it's a ball, it's actually a ball peg, excuse me. Uh, swivel at the shoulders, swivel at the hips. So, um, I don't really like these, um, you know, 5 POA, 3 and 3 quarter inch figures, uh, but it does look nice, and I think for the purposes of just sitting in the cockpit, um, it does work. Um, obviously, this, this articulation here really works for sitting a, a character in the cockpit comfortably. Um, you know, and I got this on clearance, uh, so basically this was a free pack-in basically at the price that I paid. Um, so I don't have any complaints with it. Like I said, it's well sculpted, well painted, and it does its job, so, um, you know, even though I don't really like them. Uh, so overall, I think that um, this is a pretty nice pack. Uh, I will say that I think 30 USD is a little bit overpriced. I bought mine at 50% off, which I think is a much better deal. Um, so definitely keep your eyes out for these. I got mine at Target in the clearance aisle, so um, definitely now is the time to get them. But anyway, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below, and I guess I'll see you later.